on August 28, 1963, some 100 years after President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation freeing the Slavs, a young man named Martin Luther King claimed the marble steps of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. to describe his visions of America. More than two lakh people, black and white, came to listen. The camp by plane, by car, by bus, the train, and by port. The camp to Washington to demand equal rights for black people, and the dream that they had on the steps of the monument to become the dream of a generation. I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstrations for freedom in the history of our nations. Five score years ago, a great American, in whose symbolic shadow we stand today, signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous decree came as a great beacon of hope to millions of Slavs who had been shared in the flames of weathering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the colored American is still not free. 100 years later, the life of the colored American is still sadly replaced by the miracle of uh, segregations and the chain of uh, discriminations. I say to you, my friends, we have the difficulties of today and tomorrow. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day these nations will rise up and live out the true meaning of its great. We told these truths to be self, evidence that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day out in the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former Slavs and the sons of former Slav owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of oppressions, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be just by the color of their skin but their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in the Alabama, with its uh, vicious uh, racist, uh, with its governor having his lips uh, dripping with the wars of interpositions and uh, nullifications uh, that one day, right down in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be engulfed, every hill shall be exalted, and every mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plains, and the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revolved, and all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is the faith that I will go back to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to heal out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jungling discords of our nations into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to claim up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with the new meaning. My country is of the sweet land of liberty, of the I sing. Land where my father stayed, uh, lands of the pilgrim prides, uh, from every mountainside, uh, let freedom ring. And uh, if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring from the hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the itinerant uh, genius of Pennsylvania. 
Let freedom ring from the snow cleft rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the Carbaceous uh, slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from every hill and uh, molly hill of Mississippi and every mountainside. When we let it ring from every tenement and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up uh, that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and uh, Gentiles, Protestants and uh, Catholics, uh, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old uh, spiritual free at last free at last thank god uh, almighty we are free at last